Meu Deus, isso é Meu Deus, isso é uma louco da cabeça. Solta, Maria, solta! Segura, foca, mão, foca, Would you feel terrified if you got trapped with countless snakes? What about getting trapped with just one massive snake? We are cranking this episode to the max and talking about the infamous anaconda. You, you may have seen the superstar snake in Anaconda 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So how big can an anaconda grow? Is it a myth or are they good swimmers? And what are some of the largest and deadliest animals anacondas eat? When you think about snakes, is the first thing that comes to mind their venomous bites? We aren't going down that road today. Instead, we'll concentrate on the boa family, particularly the green anaconda. Boas tend to be larger than most other snakes, and they're non-venomous. But don't feel relieved just yet. They catch their prey by constriction. I don't know which is worse, getting squeezed to death or dying from a venomous snake bite. You may think an anaconda suffocates its prey while constricting it, but the snake is overwhelming its prey's circulatory system. The prey's blood pressure decreases while the pressure on its veins increases. This slows its blood flow, stopping oxygen from reaching the prey's tissues and increasing the carbon dioxide in its blood. That causes cardiac arrest. Anacondas can sense their prey's heartbeat, so once the victim's heartbeat stops, the anaconda knows it's time to stop constricting and start feasting. Anacondas evolved this adaptation so they don't, don't waste unnecessary energy. Well, we'd hate to see that happen. And they need to be efficient. The green anaconda is the largest and heaviest snake, but, in but interestingly, it's not the longest. The reticulated python earns that title. But there's no denying it, green anacondas are enormous, growing up to six meters long and weighing up to 68 kilograms. And take a long look at them. They are wide. The largest anaconda ever recorded had a girth of 112 centimeters. It was also the heaviest recorded so far, weighing in at 136 kilograms. That is one sick serpent. Their bodies have evolved to thrive in the water. Their eyes and nostrils are on the top of their heads so they can sneakily look out of the water. Also, their skin is loose and soft, which helps them cope when absorbing water. You can outrun an anaconda on land as they slither around at eight kilometers per hour, but knowing they are just as happy in the water is a whole other ball game. They can swim at about 16 kilometers per hour, so they can outswim you. And just to make things tougher for you, they can hold their breath for up to 10 minutes. Well, it was nice knowing you. So you can run from an anaconda, but you can't hide in the water. It can silently stalk you underwater and easily catch up to you with its slick swimming skills. These snakes don't only have eyes for you, though. Anacondas have to eat some big prey to pack on that heft. Let's look at what's on the green anaconda's menu, shall we? Not surprisingly, anacondas are apex predators and eat pretty much anything that moves. They happily eat lizards, rodents, and fish, but do you know they will also take on capybaras and even jaguars? But the prey which probably packs the most punch is the caiman, another ferocious reptile. You might think an anaconda is no match for a foe of that size, and it's not guaranteed to win when taking on a caiman, but the reward must be worth it for some anacondas. If you haven't had your fill of all things slithery, why not check out our episode on Snake Island? Loads of snakes there, though you might just regret going there. Food fan up ahead. What's up? They constrict their prey to death and are expert swimmers. That's what anacondas do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.